Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the channel. My name is Ken. This is gonna be a reading for Libra for April going into May. So it feels like some of you guys in the recent past have been struggling to get some freedom in your life. Maybe to get some, some room to move around a little bit. This could be financial stability. This could be emotional stability. I've seen that some of you might even be working with like magic, with, with energy. It feels like something that's that's starting to learn like uh, energy work, the chakras, uh, reading books on the occult, things like that. Esoteric knowledge. It feels like a steady period for you. If you guys like the reading and it resonates, just shoot me a shoot me a message to book a to book a personal reading. There's going to be a link down in the description. All right. So we're starting off with the two of wands in reverse. So it feels like maybe some of you guys are like stuck in the life that you're in, maybe like stuck at the job you're in, you're working a job that you know that's not, it's not benefiting you emotionally, spiritually. It feels like so, there's just something else that you wanna do with your life. For some of you, this is obligations or expectations that are holding you back. Make sure you're going back and you're, you're rechecking uh, you know, all the commitments that you've made in your life. Because I'm seeing that when you do this, you're gonna come to the understanding that some of the things in your life need to change. Some of the, some of the cords need to be cut with the people around you. This feels like family and friends. Feels like you've outgrown some of the people around you and for you to level up, you need to, to break away from the people that you're holding on to. I'm looking at the emperor. So for some of you, this is just being on your own, being financially stable, being stable for your family. I'm looking at the hangman in reverse. So it feels like at this time, there's a lot of doors and options. There are doors opening. I'm looking at the number two, which speaks on a door. That that's, it feels like there's a door opening yeah, I got you. There's a rebirthing energy once you make some adjustments to, to the perception of the way you're viewing the world around you. All right, so I'm looking at, there needs to be a clearing in the mental space. It feels like some of you guys have a lot of chaotic thoughts. Some of you can't control your thoughts. This is also causing you to, to relive moments in the past over and over again. You're looping. This is taking energy from you. This is also robbing energy from, for you could be putting that energy into other places instead of looking back at the past and spending time and energy looking back at the past. It feels like some of you are going in the right direction. I was looking at the Emperor and I was looking at the Knight of Cups. So it feels like there's gonna be some progression forward. We're looking through the door. I'm looking at the Ten of Cups, or the Ten of, uh, the Ten of Cups. So you've got a manifestation that's gonna be coming to fruition. So whatever it is that you're trying to create is, is, is coming to fruition. Once you, once you apply yourself into creating what it is that you want, and it feels like you're learning. It just feels like a learning process. I'm kind of like seeing you like moving around in the dark. Maybe just kind of feeling your way around. I'm looking at a wind coming up. Yeah. Something that you're trying to manifest is, is getting ready to, to come to fruition. I'm looking at the, the magician, the three of cups, and the ten, of, the ten of pentacles. 
So it feels like some of you guys, maybe like you're, this is your family, you're needing to break away from the family. That way you're gonna feel more stable and this is also gonna be empowering you. When you can stand on your own two feet and have, instead of having to, to, to you know, have somebody else pay your bills or, or you know, you're making your own money through your own gifts and abilities, there is strength, there is power in that. That's where you're, you're gonna build the confidence and the courage to continue the projects in the future that you're getting ready to be working on. I'm seeing that you get the most, the most emotional fulfillment when it comes to you expressing your view of the reality with your gifts and your abilities. So you're not gonna find as much emotional fulfillment in working a nine to five, five job like other people would. And this isn't just like working a job, this is expressing yourself in the world, whether that's, you know, any, any type of creative endeavor. I'm looking at the temperance card. So it feels like some of you guys need to make sure you're trusting the process. It feels like some of you guys are questioning your intuition. So maybe some of you guys are getting guidance from your angels, your higher self, uh, you know, forces you. This is also loved ones that have crossed over are sitting, are trying to guide you through what, what, through your, the, what the situation that you've got going on right now. All right. Make sure that you're trusting the process and you're letting go of everything that, that, that no longer fits the new you. Cause that's what you're trying to, that's, yeah. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to create a new version of yourself. You're upgrading. I think of it as upgrading your firmware. I'm seeing that your intuition is on point. This is what that, this is what's gonna complete the change in, in what you're working on. So if this is a, a a purification of the soul if you're trying to become a better, the better version of yourself or whether this is you trying to work through a creative process, make sure that, that your intuition is gonna be the key to everything. So I am seeing in the near future that some of you guys are going to be opening up the, the third eye and working with uh, working with your people, loved ones that have crossed over to get out of the situation that you're in. I'm seeing you in the family situation that you don't want to be in anymore, and it looks like you're moving out. And when you do this, it's going to lead to a place where you're, the depression wears away, right? So this is coming in inverted, right? So And then also, this is going to give you a lot more time to focus on yourself. This is what you need to be doing, right? Not being pulled in eight different directions. feels like financial insta or financial instability right now so what you're feeling is, is is getting yourself to a place of financial stability because that's causing an imbalance in the in the root chakra yeah the root chakra is out of balance so this is how we how we feel in our home life or how we feel in our workspace All right, I'm going to end the reading there. If you guys liked the reading, it resonated with you, uh, make sure you guys shoot me a follow. Send me a message if you guys want to book a personal. There's going to be a link down in the description. And make sure you guys like, share, and follow. You guys have a good day. Enjoy your immortality.